Hello, my loves. My name is Cynthia, and I'm also known as Coach Cynthia. I am a part of the Vegan Goddess Fitness family. Super grateful. And I'm also an intuitive healer and teacher. So today I have a special video for you guys, and it is our general reading for 2022. So we're going to talk about what to expect, what challenges we're going to face, some love messages, and just some more other juicy like uh, messages that will come through um, for us for 2022. Remember, this is general. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't, you know, um, it's not personal. And yeah, so grab your cup of tea, your water, get your journals and get comfortable and be open to receiving these messages, right? So let's get started. So for 2022, this year, my loves, we're going to be called to take leaps of faith, okay? We got the full card. So the full card is seeing life from a very childlike state of mind, being very open-minded and curious about um, life itself, taking these steps forward, okay? So um, again, a lot of us are going to be called to come out of our comfort zone, to listen to those little nudges of, you know, that tells you like, okay, I want to do this or I want to try that. The more you do that this year, the better it's going to go for you. The more you're going to actually have more, um, you're going to learn more about yourself, a lot of self-discovery, a lot of self-actualization. I feel like if, if you've been somebody that's kind of been like, I, I feel like there's more to my life. I feel like there's more to do. I feel like I'm meant for more and more. You know what I mean? This is the year where it's just like, I can't, I, 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 feel like I know what I deserve and and now I want to take the steps forward to get there um you know back then I feel like we were more in our heads dreaming like about it and now it's more like okay how can I bring this dream into reality I do feel like a lot of us are going to be shifting I, I go from us to you because you know we're all it's, it's just like <laughs> um a habit but but yeah because we're all going through this together so so don't mind the way I shift from us to you and stuff like that. I'm really talking. When I say you, I'm talking to me too. So, um, but yeah, so I feel like a lot of you are going to be shifting in careers this year. I feel like a lot of you are going to be feeling, um, I don't know, like you're just going to discover a lot about yourself that's going to lead you into some new things that like, it's going to spark creativity in you. It's going to spark things in you that might have been dead or you thought were dead for a while inside of you or, you know, things like that. But I feel like so many of you are going to build so much self-confidence this year. Um, again, through the full card, through this way of seeing life as it's never too late for me. You know what I mean? Like, um... I'm gonna go for what I feel like I, I feel called to do, even if the whole world judges me for it, even if, you know, and so on this journey, I do sense because we've got the devil card. Um, and so this is actually, this card is ruled by uh, Capricorn. So Capricorn is a lot about structure and status and foundation. They're the builders, the bosses of this world. Very beautiful sign. They're an earth sign. But, um, <clears throat> So again, so I feel like a lot of you're going to encounter, <laughs> yeah, it has a lot to do with Capricornian things, you know, your status, how you're seen, um, what you're building for yourself. Um, that's all going to come to light this year. Again, the more you are open, okay, this is the year to be more open, not to be more closed and to be hiding in the shadows. Again, I do feel like not hiding who you are is going to be huge and that's what's going to come up with this devil card it also is about addictions it's about the shadows the unhealthy versus the healthy the you know um what is respect what is disrespect so i do feel like this year is going to be pretty intense for a lot of us when it comes to shadows shadow work you know facing your demons befriending your demons confronting your demons i feel like again like for a lot of us we 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 were able to hide for a very long time, but not this year, baby, not this year. This year is not going to be about, nobody is going to be able to hide this year. Um, you know, this is a year of a lot of healing. So if you've ever been called to 
see a therapist or to work with spiritual practices or just your own, you know what I mean? In any way, it really is infinite. There's many ways to go about it, even if you're religious and stuff, but like, um, but yeah, so this is that year, you know, I feel like a lot of us are going to be open and asking for help um, or need to open up to ask for help and stuff because guys, again, with the double card, we're going to see parts of ourselves that we may not be happy about. So don't be surprised. Again, as you as you begin to grow, you know, and expand and take these new adventures and these new um, paths or just, you know, taking these leaps of faith, again, you're going to, you're going to learn a lot about yourself. You're going to be, you're going to have to face a lot of yourself because it's, it's unfamiliar. You know, you're, you're going to really learn a lot about yourself, but that's what's beautiful. So really do your best to, um, you know, every time you are faced with the shadow aspect of yourself. And I highly recommend to look into something called shadow work, look it up on YouTube, read about it, research about it. If you feel called, you can reach out to me, but shadow work is, um, very important and is a very deep part of our journeys as um, spirits you know what I mean um, especially if you're somebody that um, holds a lot of trauma or you know has been through a lot of heavy things in your life and you still feel like it's affecting you again like those are the things that are gonna come up for you this year um, because your body your spirit your mind your heart wants to finally feel like and that's what's coming so as we progress i'm saying you know i see like we've got the nine of wands so a lot of us are going to learn how to speak up how to stick with our boundaries um how to stand up for what we believe in for what we feel is right you know um and expect judgment i mean that's going to happen anyway guys but like again this is the year to be true to yourself this is the year to you know where you're going to learn a lot about how to be more confident you're going to be tested um <clears throat> again a lot of the things from the past might come up when it comes to those things with your self-esteem with um <clears throat> your creativity with your passions um you know, but I feel like so many of us, so many of you are going to definitely get this spark as we continue on through the year. You're going to find, you're going to be, you're going to be able to like, you're going to feel this spark in you again. It's, it, it's going to truly make you feel alive again. You're going to, because again, you're, you're starting to really respect yourself and stand up for yourself and honor what you're building um you know and allowing what needs to fall apart to fall apart so that's super super important my loves um but the nine of wands and then we got the queen of wands so we got all this fire energy this leo aries sagittarius energy you know so if you're a leo sagittarius or um aries rising moon and sun like this is especially for you but this is for everybody too like again this is more this is collective so so again and i do feel like you know um you might meet some some fire signs you might need some fire signs in your life you know healthy <laughs> or healthier versions of these signs right more evolved versions but you know it'll be really good to be around more fire energy or you know light more candles this year or you know work with more fire in your life um if you are feeling creatively blocked or uninspired by life or whatever it might be you know again a lot of you're going to be called to pick up these talents and, and gifts from your past i feel or it's just something that you know like you you um that will involve i don't know just like your passions and stuff like a lot of us are going to be reignited again and, and sparked um as we as we face these these tougher times you know there's a lot of those tests for this year a lot of the things from the from our internal unconscious subconscious mind is going to be surfacing and i know for a lot of us it's already been happening it's or you you can feel it um and stuff so again so just know that this is all purpose for you to truly become the queen of wands this this badass freaking i don't even want to say badass or good ass <laughs> like this just this very very powerful queen you know that is full of energy and uh like it's just so beautiful i hope you can see it but yeah it's the queen of a queen of wands so yes a lot of that fire energy let's see what else is coming what else do we need to know about this year's spirit 
Definitely. Very excited though. This is really great. This is exciting. These are exciting times. <laughs> okay, so four of swords. So yeah, a lot of rebirth is happening, my loves. Um, again, with all this energy, it, a lot of us are going to be called to, to rest. Okay, to take time to, to allow ourselves to nest. A lot of rebirth. You are transforming. You are trans you're not going to recognize who you are by the end of the year. I really feel that for a lot of you. The way you're beginning the year and the way you're ending the year is going to be like, whoa. You know, so a lot of us are going to be called to go into these hibernation states or, you know, going back into like, you know, again, this like the full card in the four of wands four of swords going into this space of like you know like seeing life from the, from a newborn's kind of eyes and things like that um really nurturing your heart space um healing that relationship with your with your mind and your heart so just know that my loves just know that okay so if you've been feeling like i just don't know who i am anymore i feel like i'm becoming someone else like it's if that's true so seven of seven of swords definitely the year of protection too so make sure that you are protecting yourself um you know a lot of us might feel like we are in survival mode okay so um just be careful you know what i mean um i do sense that there are going to be a lot of endings of course with every year every year there's a lot to let go of but again um yeah i do sense that though i do sense that you know just just make sure you're you're using discernment when it comes to the people in your life and things like that um um again with that devil card people might people might come in as like you know they might <laughs> they might come in as the charmers or you know things like that just be very mindful of that, those energies don't allow yourself to be influenced too much by what looks pretty and you know things like that because mm -mm, you know so so just know that Eight of Pentacles, so this is also another card. So this this card is an Earth card. So yeah, again, this is this is just like you're seeing all the options that you have when it comes to what you can build, when it comes to building your life. So I feel like there's so many shifts that are gonna happen to us when it does come to the way we move in life, the way we make money, the way we create the way we express ourselves the way you know so spend a lot of time on on mastering mastering your gifts your talents mastering what you're passionate about pick one thing you know but yeah, multi-talented for sure you know i just say start with one thing but again like so many of you are being called to do different different things like you're not meant for just one thing you're not meant for just this and this is the part of that self-discovery you're gonna find as the year continues and stuff so um so yeah so that's basically what we need to know just overall messages okay it's gonna be a lot about you this year you know just like a lot about you um and how you how you where you like where you how do you want to say where you fit in the world because you you create that like you know what i mean you are the one that that makes that space it's not like you're you know what i mean but there's a place for everybody in this world and you're gonna really learn to find yourself in it and know that you are here for for a divine reason and just a lot of self-discovery this year and stuff so um mm-hmm a lot of blue energy, so throat, a lot of throat healing, speaking up, saying, you know, how you feel, 
No more passive aggressiveness, more directness, especially with that fire energy. Inner peace, yes. Bring it on, yes, yes, yes. This year, make sure that what you're doing, what you're calling in, what you surround yourself with brings you inner peace. If something doesn't bring you inner peace, it, it's not worth it it's not worth staying up all night okay and thinking about that and that's probably part of your shadow too is like the fact that you're used to chaos or you're you, you know you're in the survival mode where like you're just comfortable in it you thrive in chaos and stuff like that but it's like time to like step outside of that and and honor more of this um inner this inner calmness and not mistake that for boredom okay being okay with being bored <laughs> being okay with the simplicity of life protection yeah this year is about protection my loves okay make sure you're protecting yourself that came out again so you know yeah so if you feel weird about some some things in your life people places whatever like pay attention to that your intuition is going to be more um fire yes like i said especially the more you face your shadows the more you face those fears and traumas childhood traumas whatever it is and you and you learn to like not react to them so much and stuff like that like that's your protection your discernment is your protection voyage travel like i said traveling i know with whatever is going on in the world you know might be like wait what do you mean but voyage so um oh i i see Someone's getting pregnant. <laughs> is having a baby. Or you're birthing again new seeds, new ideas, new, new, new. Like, yes. Like, I'm not just saying that because it's a new year. And to me, like, the new year doesn't start till springtime. Birthing season, you know. But, but you know, either way, like. <clears throat> yeah, so voyage. So if you can travel, if you, you know, if you get an invitation to you know do that things like that again like if you've been wanting to have a baby or like that's probably something else or if you don't want to have a baby this is right next to protection you know like be be mindful because a lot of a lot of you gonna be fertile <laughs> this year but yes the voyage yes Go, expand this is about expansion don't just stay where you might you know in your comfort zone where it's always safe okay let's pull one more card. actually i'm gonna pull from these and we'll move on to what challenges might be coming up The end of a tough cycle approaches, yes, so it's been very hard for a lot of you, okay? And I want to let you know that a lot of that is going to come to a close. I mean, life is always going to be hard, but you are not meant to be suffering. You are not meant to constantly be hitting these obstacles over and over and over again. And it's going to lessen again the more you face yourself, the more you stop running away from the truth, the more you accept the truth, the more, yeah you are you don't give in to temptation and to addictions and to feeling powerless um full moon and capricorn is a lot of capricorn energy a lot of earth energy too so virgos capricorns tauruses it's been tough for us it's been tough for us I, i'm a virgo um but a lot of that is coming to a close you know a lot of that is coming to its peak where you know this year as it moves forward a lot of weight is going to be taken off your shoulders depending on you of course it all depends on our choices but but do expect that as well okay so hang in there my loves hang in there um because again like like with that nine of wands we're gonna be really standing in our power and being that queen you know so um <clears throat> So just, you know, take hold of that. You and your loved ones are safe. New moon and cancer. So, yeah, new emotions, new feelings, you know. Um, seeing things from a, reacting, responding to things from a more um, mature space, 
with our emotions, okay? If you've been worried about your loved ones, know that they're safe, they're protected. For anybody that's passed as well, know that they are also in a safe space and that they are watching over you. Um, you know, cancer is a very sensitive emotion. Well, not sensitive, I hate that word, but like very emotional, intuitive, psychic sign. So shout out to my cancers out there. You know, cancers go through it too. But just know that, you know, Everything is, is is okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Every you know, you don't have to worry. Even if the world is crumbling around you, know that you will be safe. You will be safe no matter what. Again, Aries, full moon in Aries, a fiery climax approaches. So yeah, a lot of peaks and lows and peaks and lows. So you know, time cycle the end of a time cycle approaches and a fiery climax approaches. I do feel again with the protection, with the seven of with the seven of swords and everything i do feel like yeah a lot of you are gonna be called to draw the line this is it this is it i just all i hear like this is it i've had enough or this is it like this is this is yeah i just keep hearing that this is it so just be careful though again working with those demons and stuff like that be befriending those parts of yourself you know making sure that you are controlling your anger and that you are you know you're not giving your power away and things like that to these emotions inside of you that wants that that can feel explosive so not being ex as explosive use that energy into your art into what makes you feel alive into the things that you're you know you that are worth it um but yeah i feel like not, not a lot of people are going to be walking this whole year toward to the end with you that that cause more chaos in your life than problems and and sometimes i mean then peace and sometimes that's you sometimes it's us sometimes we are the toxic ones and stuff like that you know what i mean so so be very mindful of yourself it's not just other people be very mindful okay and a time for healing a time for healing that's it that's it my loves time for healing you know go to yoga classes meditations learn about meditation learn about somatic therapy learn about the vagus nerve um <coughs> learn about shadow work um go back into your childhood you know a very deep time for that again we're all being rebirthed you know so so take that time, heal those connections with yourself, heal that relationship with yourself to heal those connections with other people. Um, this is that time where, you know, you're really going to see who who truly is in your circle, who's truly in your corner, you know, um, but you got to do that for yourself first. You have to, you know, trying to always feel safe or trying to find it outside of you is unrealistic but if you're the more you're able to go within and the more you're able to and if you don't even know what that means that's okay again there's so many resources online and if you need help again we're here for you um but but yeah a very important time to go in within and feel that pain and feel those wounds and and feel the things that you fear and and learn about it learn about them you know oh and, and then we got don't let your past hold you back so definitely don't do that my loves don't let your past hold you back whether that's exes or past thoughts behaviors um or just the things you've been through in the past you know learning to really shift out of that out of these toxic behaviors relationships surroundings um you know um things like that don't don't stay in your comfort zone okay don't just don't keep repeating what's already been done what you've been doing it's what you've always what you do now is what you've always been doing so really taking time to check in with that and making sure that you're not allowing um the past in whatever way it shows up and it's not it's not about what what it is like let's say it's an ex it's more about you it's about you it's about how, what you're how do you what are you doing with this information what are you doing how are you respond how are you reacting what does this mean for you in your journey and so again i feel like a lot of us are really really tired of um repeating certain behavior cycles and stuff like that so so yeah so i guess that that goes into like what the next theme is which is like what will be your challenges and that will be that to not let your past hold you back and whatever form that might come in 
don't get so caught up in what it comes in like what form what person um but with this inner peace card it's like you know making like like making peace with with the past Making peace with the past is huge in order for us to really shift and change our present and move into the future. You know? Um, a lot of, very emotional year. I think it's going to be a very emotional year. So what challenges and blockages Melting mask, allow your spirit self to shine through the many roles you fulfill. Again, not hiding yourself, not hiding who you are, especially even if you are known in the public eye. If you already have a status, do not change who you are just to get approval, just to be accepted, um, just so it doesn't ruin your image or, you know, whatever it might be, or you don't even have to be like a social media influencer. If you're known at your job or if you're known for something like, you know, again, don't limit yourself to that and also be very true to yourself, be honest. Walk this life with more, um, again, and, and the more we learn about confidence and heal our wounds with confidence and self-esteem, um, the more we're able to walk with authenticity. And the more we walk with authenticity, the less we feel threatened or the less we're comparing ourselves to other people and things like that, or if we feel like we have to hide who we are, show all parts of yourself. Okay, don't, don't, you don't want to die feeling like you didn't fully live, you know? I feel like that's the worst way to die um, because we care what people thought or, you know, or starting over, you know, and things like that. Radical curiosity. So again, curiosity, seeing as if for the first time every time. So make sure that you... Um, Again, aren't limiting your perception and perspective on life. Um, see everything from the eyes of a of of a child. Get curious about your triggers. Get curious about these new opportunities. About you know, um, <coughs> excuse me, and about people too, because um, this is number two. So that that means connections and things like that. Um, not allowing your past to hold you back from dating, from from making new friends, from putting yourself out there in the world, okay? Inner integration. There is peace, equilibrium, and fulfillment in integrating the inner wild with the taming and tempering effect life has on us. So embody, embodying all the versions of you, you know, integrating integrating every aspect of yourself you know it's going to bring you the most peace instead of trying to cut it off or trying to like always be over it like like you know like oh no i don't care oh no this i don't know but be like no i do care no i i do feel this way i do want this i do want that and it, even if it sounds even if it disgusts you and stuff it's about integration and allowing yourself to be free to me wild is like being free so you know allowing yourself to be free in that um and and yeah it's so important my loves and this is and and this is it's in your heart it's in your you know breathing you know help um learn about breath work learn about breathing regulating your nervous system and stuff it's gonna help you really learn to integrate your experiences, whatever is going on, you know, um, in your life. Going back to how you respond and react to the triggers and to the ways that people communicate and talk to you or feel about you or see you. Um, so, so these things might come up, you know, um, where it might be really hard to do that. Key to intimacy, intimate love is the core need to be met in relation to ourselves and those closest to us. The journey to intimacy often includes learning what love is not. So, you know, disappointment, that's what I heard. Being okay with disappointment, being okay with that, accepting that, okay, that 
at the end of the day, we can't change anyone. We can't, you know, and we disappoint ourselves too. And so, you know, it's okay. It's okay. So, um, this is the year of going deeper with yourself, learning so much more about yourself than what you, what, what is the surface. Um, you know, so a challenge that might happen is, again, I feel like in relation to sexual energy too, I mean, intimacy is not just about sex and stuff, but but learning, you know, going into those aspects of yourself where where you where where you might not like to go deeper. Um, so the more you fight that, though, like the less you're gonna feel connected to everyone and to to people and to yourself, you know. So making sure that you're not staying surface level with yourself. Um, it's super important to be in touch with your body, with your mind, with your heart. This is what, this is how we become more intuitive. Okay, this is how we as women with the feminine energy, you know what I mean? Um, this is what makes us feminine. So getting more in touch and closer to that feminine version of yourself is going to be super important. And yeah, so, so again, um, be open to disappointment and and yeah, because this journey of learning of this self-love journey will include, you know, le like it said, learning what it what love is not. And so you will be called to let go of certain behaviors, people, places, and things that don't want to go deeper with you. What's that saying? Like, people can only go deep with you as deep as they go when then themselves just with shit like that i don't know but it, it goes it applies with us it applies to everybody so learning more about intimacy not being afraid to have those intimate conversations um to open up to be vulnerable okay so you might have a fear of being vulnerable um so that might be a challenge okay but again You're gonna be okay you know the more vulnerable you are the more you're you're gonna see okay this is what i want this is what i don't want okay the more again you show who you are the more true you are to your emotions to your feelings to your thoughts and stuff like that to what you want from this life like what you want from others you know your needs your wants then you're gonna naturally attract and 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 repel what is meant for you and what is not meant for you and the last one i have is broken dreams so only you can accept or reject your dreams so there might be a lot of challenges regarding your dreams maybe again like not believing in yourself or feeling like it's, it's too late or you're too old or um you might feel alone you know lonely that's different alone and lonely are different so um just know that you're not you're <laughs> believing yourself my loves this is it does not matter how old you are what age you are whatever it is that you want that you desire that you have dreamt about as a little girl or whatever like the more you learn about yourself you're gonna again you're gonna have new dreams you're gonna have old dreams come back up so so don't don't feel discouraged like believing yourself believe believe believing yourself it's possible you don't have to continuously live the same mundane life the same mundane job the same mundane you know mask you know you you're remove all that fuck all that shit like you know um yeah you're the only one like even if you're the only one that that has faith in you like for again i feel like a lot of you are the black sheep of your family or you know I just feel like ah, like you want to break free from something. Um, and so this is it. Okay, so so yeah, work on your belief system. Um, really sit and visualize your what what dreams you still have left to to um, to explore, to manifest and things like that. So yeah, and pay attention to your dreams as well. Pay attention to your dreams. Those the nightmares and the things that you continuously dream about over and over again. Those are messages. It's letting you know like what you might need to look into again. Be get more closer to go deeper with, um, and, and stuff. Uh, I feel like some of you are have very vivid dreams and are potential lucid dreamers. And lucid dreaming is a great way to manifest, by the way, which I highly recommend to look into that too. Um, but yeah yes don't give up just don't give up my lips 
Okay, and so some love messages. I'm gonna drink some of my tea. Okay, so here's some love messages. I really don't like to do too much love messages, but let's just see the love messages we got for the collective for 2022. So much childlike energy this year, I see that. You know, tapping into your imagination. And and if you feel like it's been a long time that, that you've done that, like the more shadow work you do, the more you heal, the more you're going to tap into that part of yourself that loves to create and to dream, daydream and to let, you know, make it tangible though. Bring it to this world. We need it. We need you. We need to see what we need you. Like <laughs> we need whatever you have in mind. Um, so love calls. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. The snake, competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. So yes, like I said, with the, with the seven of swords and protection and fury climax with Aries. Oh, like, yeah. So be very mindful if you are dating or if you, you know, um, a lot of you are going to learn about what it truly means to respect yourself and to love yourself. And and so, yeah, be careful of them snakes. Be careful. There's going to be certain people, potentials, partners, or, you know, just people that are interested that are not showing their true hands. Okay. Um, so be careful. Okay. If you have, you live, pay attention to the red flags, which that's really subjective, but you know what I mean? Um, yeah, listen to, feel how your body feels around them and get curious about it instead of just going right into like, yes or no, you know, um, just, and this, and love goes with not, it's not just with like, like relationship wise and stuff. Love can be about the things you value. Okay. So it could be that it could be your friendships. It could be your, you know, just anything that you love. Basically, it doesn't have to always be romantic. It could be a platonic or something that involves something that you just love to do. So I'm um, just being very mindful. Okay. Um, if you feel uneasy, get curious about it and go deeper into that. Okay. Cause this could be a part of you. This could be a part of a past trauma. Again, not letting the past hold you back, but, um, but yeah, just making sure that, that, you know, you're drawing boundaries. Okay. With, the people that are interested in you romantically and platonically. Um, but yeah, because I do feel like someone's thinking about you. Someone's thinking about you. Someone wants to reach out. Someone wants to, but I don't know. It seems like they may not have the right intentions in mind. So, you know, stay focused on yourself. And, but at the same time, healing from your past. So you're not missing up on opportunities or, you know, messing up opportunities too self-sabotaging habits right so this is coming through any love messages mm, unfulfillment i sensed unfulfillment breakup separation stop the pattern silent treatment abandonment um mm -hmm. So yeah, some of some of you're gonna be called to break up, to separate, or that might happen as the year goes on. It, um, almost feels like it's inevitable, um, but yeah, or you know, yeah, it's silent treatment, abandonment, all that toxic behavior. Mm -mm, that that can stay in the past. So going back to the devil card, going back to those addictions, going back to the shadow aspects of yourself and stuff healing the abandonment abandonment wounds the communication wounds stopping the pattern a lot of you are being called to stop the shit stop the toxic behavior when it comes to love how you see love how you receive it and how you give it um some of you might need to break up like you know what i mean or separate take some time away because going back to that snake card some some malicious energy you know you don't deserve that or, you know, again, check yourself. You could be the one doing this. Again, with the mask, not showing true feelings. Hide, yeah, oh my gosh, gaslighting, pretending, person. Yeah, no, it's almost not being real. 
not enough. This is where I felt the unfulfillment. Frustration, frustrating, frustrated in relationships, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, jealousy. So this is probably where all that shadow work is coming from. Even if you're not in a relationship or you haven't gone through this with friends or family or whatever, like this could be still coming up from your unconscious mind, you know, from maybe years ago or whatever, where these feelings of um, not being feeling worthy or enough might be coming up and things like that. And, you know, that's why it's important to not be hiding who you are. We got the mask a lot. We got the mask, you know, not showing true feelings, hiding. We got melting mask. So yeah, there's a, uh, it's time to be real, you know, it's time to really be real with how we feel and, and, um, yeah, because if you're wearing a mask, you're going to attract people that, that love to wear a mask. You know what I mean? Um, and going back to the lack, lack of confidence, so learning a lot about that, okay? So yeah, so it seems like in the love department, my love, it's, it's more about healing. It's more about healing, okay, than anything else. We got mirror, mirroring each other, self-image, relationships reflect our wounds, introspection. So yeah, a lot of healing when it comes to that, knowing that the people in your life reflect who you are as a person at the moment or who, you know, um, your relationships, whether it's friendships, whatever, siblings, whatever, all your relationships reflect an aspect of yourself. So making sure you're looking in the mirror, again, um, making sure that, you know, you're not just blaming the people in your life and that you're taking accountability for yourself and in your love life um, and things like that. Date, meeting someone new, dating, get back out there, plan a set of dates. So um, the more you work on this, you know, um, the then you'll, you're going to begin to attract, again, meeting someone new, this new energy where you are in the space of um, the Queen of Wands with this power and this spark of life and, you know, integration of your shadows, becoming one with the with the pain and, and, and things like that. You're going to definitely, like, begin to manifest people in your life that are more aligned with what you truly deserve, right? And so, yeah, so that's what the love messages are going to put that away. And um, we have some self-care messages. So how we how we can best take care of ourselves this year. How can we better take care of ourselves this year? What practices can we do, spirit, to better take care of our energies? How can we protect ourselves with our self-care? Um, so cool. Massage. Mm, yes. Make sure you're pampering yourself, going to the spa, getting massaged, getting touched, getting in tune with the sensation of touch again. Um, you know, if you're with your partner, massaging each other, making sure you're getting into the areas in your body that hurt instead of just trying to get through them, you know, like we're all used to doing, you know, um, go in them, get massages, get those knots out, okay? Make sure you feel good in your body. That's how you also heal a lot of the trauma because a lot of it is stored in your body. So um, that's why uh, trying to do it from the mind down is not always effective and talk therapy doesn't always work and you know just talking about how you're what you've been through and stuff can actually be more detrimental because a lot of the trauma is in our bodies not our minds so much it's the body that is telling the mind that it's still happening um chanting using your throat yes getting into chanting singing okay like using your throat um and that's actually another way to um activate the the parasympathetic nervous system, which is the system of rest and digest, which is the system, the nervous system in us that calms us. So chanting actually does that. Like when you go, you know, or just like chanting words over and over again and things like that. Using that throat, it's gonna be really important again. Um, <clears throat> drinking more water is also important. Keeping those vocal cords. Hydrated. 
Build strength. Yes. Hello. If you ever, if you've been wanting to join me in Goddess Fitness, this is the time. <laughs> so doing that, building strength, taking care of your health this year is huge. But I keep getting body messages, taking care of that body. Building strength, not just because you want to look good, which is amazing, but because you want to feel strong, because you, you're this this amazing warrior and and you know when you when you work out when you take care of your body like and you're building strength it's also making you like remember of your inner strength <coughs> you know what i mean so um making sure that build that strength get hit those weights don't be afraid take that kickboxing class that boxing class take martial arts whatever way like climb a tree every day <laughs> like you know build muscle so it can remind you or not just even build muscle but push your mind push your mind through pushing your body you know what i mean um that's why i love working out too that you know just even doing yoga like it really pushes you it really pushes you on a mental level and physical so making sure you're doing that taking care of it taking care of yourself connect with your womb going back to this intimacy connecting with your womb space a lot of us hold trauma here especially if you've been sexually abused or you know you didn't even, or assaulted or you don't even have had to have gone through those things your womb can still be like um going through it so taking care of your uterus taking care of that drinking raspberry tea you know yoni steaming okay i know that i've heard like to not do that but obviously follow the like the instructions do not bring your vagina please <laughs> but taking care of your womb your uterus if you if you're suffering through pcos or anything to do with your uterus and your vagina and stuff like that um take care of that you know what i mean look into different alternatives um going back to healing um you know, look into Reiki if, if it's energy work. I don't know if you guys have heard of that. Um, definitely suggest to look into that. Connect with your womb. Okay, let her let her tell you what's going on. Okay, um, and especially if you've been wanting to get pregnant or, you know, like I said, so many of us are, like, you're fertile. So, like, so, so again, you can use that energy to either birth your dreams um you know or a child or whatever it is but it's all womb energy it's all here it's this is where your creative energy is it's in your womb space so um taking care of that my love taking care of that giving it a nice little massage you know talking to her drinking again more water this helps the womb area drinking teas that that stimulate um and and tone up um the u uterine walls and things like that so <clears throat> journaling a lot of you are being called to journal write your feelings down if you have trouble communicating them or you know or if you're too much in your head about things or you find yourself overthinking or or whatever like grab a page and just write just write just write make sure you read on you know i mean get back to writing get back to journaling a lot of self-discovery in writing you know what i mean um get your thoughts on paper journal how you feel journal about your day you know a journal or you could do a little thing where it's like okay every night or every morning if you like routines not everybody does i'm gonna journal about one thing that that i absolutely loved about my day and just keep a little like en entries about that and with the dates that you can look back at at the end of the year and stuff like that and um but journal get back to writing in my loves and one more sweet treat treat yourself okay <laughs> abundance planning gosh i love these um <clears throat> you know work on your work on your perspectives around money and things like that you know abundance planning plan for your future and and work on your self-belief you know know that you are deserving of all the money in the world that you can manifest it by doing what you love by being true to yourself um you know get organized plan write about all of your write down your dreams you know what i'm saying again back with journaling planning a lot of that you know buy a planner buy a, make a vision board get a whiteboard uh pay um a whiteboard things like that have it somewhere where you can see it you know do a bunch of that a bunch of energy work when it comes to abundance and your um thought pattern around abundance and sweet treat okay so like going back to this one making sure that you are treating yourself 
really connect with the pleasures of life, okay? Do not, you know, um, restrict yourself from feeling the pleasures of life, the good, the goodiness, the deliciousness, the sweetness, okay? And last but not least, my loves, I just want to do this real, real quick. I just want to pull a card for each zodiac sign, specifically your rising, which you can calculate um, by knowing your birthday, your birth time, and your birthplace, and going on Google and click and writing um, free natal chart reading or calculator, I mean. And that's how you'll find your rising. It's also known as your ascendant. But this also applies to like your sun sign and your moon sign, but more so your rising sign and yeah, and your sun sign just a little bit. So, I'm just going to pull one card. So, this is basically, you know, the the overall theme for you this year. So, for Aries, let's start with, let's start with Pisces. Let's start with the beautiful, drooling Pisces. For all my Pisces, Risings, Suns, and Moons. Light. So, not getting stuck in negative thought patterns and negative negativity. Not that, to not pretend that it's not there, it's there. But focusing more on the things that bring you light, that light up your world, that light up, that light you up from the inside, you know. Um, open up those windows, let that natural light in. Um, look into light therapy, that's so cool. Like get some LED lights, you know. Um, Play with the colors. That can actually shift your mood. Okay, so this is for uh, Aquarius. Abundance. Oh, my Aquarius is mm, abundance. Okay, so definitely do the abundance planning. Okay, um, <laughs> call in what you want. Not just materially, but like what you want on an emotional, spiritual level and, and mental level too. But this is a very abundant year for you. Okay, so call it in and it is yours. Call it in and it is yours. Believe in it. Believe in it, though. That's that's number one. But, you know, don't be afraid to ask. Don't be afraid to ask. <laughs> Definitely not. And this is for Capricorn. Dive deep. Oh, yeah. My, my, mis Capricornios. Dive deep. Dive <laughs> deep. I know Capricorns love to just hustle and move forward and not get stuck in anything, but that's why a lot of Capricorns, I mean, the ones that I've seen go through it a lot, you know, um, especially Capricorn moons. Um, yeah, so dive deep, okay? Dive deep into yourself. Don't be afraid of your emotions. Don't be afraid of going into the past. No, you're not gonna, you know, it's not gonna hold you back from anything. Dive deep into your connections, into everything, okay? Just go deep. Work on that intimacy. And now we are moving on to Sagittarius. My fire, half horse, half human. Sassy, wise Sagittarius is. <laughs> decisions. This is going to be for you to make decisions, okay? Make very important decisions that are going to direct you into the life that you want to walk and you know what I mean so you're gonna be called to make decisions okay this year um yeah it's pretty basic it's pretty I mean pretty self-explanatory okay <laughs> don't be so impulsive with your decisions take time take time before you make a choice okay you're gonna learn a lot about your decisions though this year so pay attention to your choices every day um going forward and then this is for scorpio is my passionate intense manipulative scorpios you can be manipulative in a positive way by the way communication working with that scorpios i know all my scorpios fuck like struggle like expressing them there's themselves they scorpios actually really struggle with vulnerability vulnerability and mask wearing so my scorpios Okay, work on being authentic, expressing how you feel, stop caring how they're gonna react. Make sure you're not holding what you feel in or what needs to be said. Show your true self, but of course from a space of, you know. <laughs> but communicate, communicate. 
You can try to throw a chakra this year, okay? Communicate. It's going to really help your relationships and your and how you manifest. Use your voice. We need to hear you. We need to hear what you're feeling, thinking, and seeing. And now this is for my Libras, free spirit. So this year for you is going to be about being a free spirit, really um, freeing yourself, you know, <laughs> being again, more just like, like Pisces, more light. My Pisces and Libras, uh, yeah, you should totally hang out this year. You might meet some, okay? <laughs> um, again, if you meet evolved ones, you guys will get along. <laughs> but, uh, but which... We're not tied to astrology, but you know. So free spirit, yeah, you're gonna learn how to be more free, okay? Not to be so like, you know, calculating too, because sleepers can be very calculating. Be a free spirit, you're gonna learn a lot about that, how to be like that in your in your partnerships, in your businesships, and your, you know, um, let loose more this year, okay? Be more loose, be more loose. Not so much in your head. Okay, and so moving to my Virgos, my hard working, <laughs> routine loving <laughs> health gurus blessings which i call them be moorings be more not be less but yes this year for you is going to be all about that you're gonna you're gonna be oh expect unexpected when it comes to the be moorings in your life okay like there's so many you deserve so much, man. Like, oh my gosh. And Virgos can be so fucking hard on themselves and on other people and stuff. But like, if you planted really good seeds, you know, if, you, if you've been doing the inner work and stuff like that, like, baby, this year's going to be one of the most profound years for you when it comes to, you know, receiving, okay, receiving the blessings, the good morning, the gifts that life has to offer. Okay, now moving into my Leos. Truth, Leos. Okay, this is going to be a lot about you speaking your truth, seeing the truth, okay, in yourself and other people. Don't don't blind yourself to the truth. You're going to have to face a lot of that. You're going to have to deal with a lot of that. And it's time that you walk with the truth and, and things like that. So, um, so, yeah, my Leos, truth. Okay, you you inspire so many people just by being, just by showing up in a room, you know. So uh, make sure that yeah, like you're open to the truth and you're being the truth. You know, you're being yeah. And so this is for my cancers, memories. Okay, making new memories, cancers. Okay, cancers can get stuck in the past. Okay, cancers can hold grudges. Okay, cancers can um yeah. So so make sure that you know this year you're you're. Um, stepping out of what's familiar, which cancers try to stay in, you know, and to make new memories, okay? Um, you know, look forward to that, to those things. And, and yeah, so, yeah, you might feel nostalgic this year, or you might feel like the need to, to, to reconnect with the world in a different way, or just, like, to yourself and things like that. So, yeah, um, very beautiful time for you to do that. Um, okay, and so this is for my Geminis. Trust. Geminis, this year is going to be a lot about you having faith. Okay, this year is going to be a lot about you having faith and trusting yourself. Trusting whatever you believe in, whatever higher power you believe in, stuff like that. You're going to be tested a lot in that area, okay, to where it's like, mm, like, you know, because Geminis also have an issue with indecision and just like switching their minds a lot and stuff like that and things switching up on them a lot and things like that. It's like a lot of fast change. So just trust, you know, trust your decisions, trust um, whatever, whatever you cannot control is, is meant to it's meant for you to learn to let go and just to divinely connect with your faith. Okay, so. And then Tauruses. The future. So this is going to be a lot about you planning for the future, thinking about the future, um, you know, making ma making decisions and everything that, that you know is setting you up for the future. Okay, so, so yeah, being very present. This, even though this is future for you, Taurus, is going to be so important for you to learn to be more present. Okay, learn to be more present, which I feel like a lot of Tauruses don't have an issue with. But the thing is, it's like, you know, doing the things that you're really good at, which is thinking long term. 
but um, making sure that every that that you're laying out the steps for your future coming up, you know. Um, but also making sure you're not too, you know, focused on the future itself. Building the future from the present is gonna be super important for you this year. And last but not fucking least, my favorite, one of my favorite Aries, I mean my favorite signs of all time is Aries. <laughs> for my risings, moons, and suns. Dreaming, okay, dreaming, dream bigger, Aries. That's what I'm sensing for you, my loves. Um, so maybe that, yeah, that one card for broken dreams. Yeah, so, so dream bigger okay but also don't get stuck in in la la land and stuff like that but this this year's gonna be about you dreaming bigger and believing in your dreams and making the motherfucking happen you know as the year progresses um and yeah really believing in them okay like write down your dreams have a dream journal um you're gonna learn a lot about your subconscious unconscious that way too um but yeah dream big have fun daydreaming and things like that i know that it's possible to bring them to this world because aries have some of the most geniuses ideas just like aquarians and stuff like that and capricorn they all are pretty much every sign um but you yeah your dreams are a huge contribution to this world aries so make sure that you are not holding back okay so that is the general 2022 um reading for you guys Again, like I said, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and I hope, I wish nothing but the most transformative, but in the best way possible year for you. And I know that we're all going to make it, we're going to get through it, and um, so many of us are revolving to the best versions of ourselves, which, you know, that's kind of like, you know, I feel like we're always, we should accept where we are and, and, and know that we're doing the best we can. But, um, but know that, yeah, we're definitely healing, evolving, and becoming exactly what it is that we've always wanted each, each step of the way. Okay, so, 